Hi there. My name is Dave Riser, and I'm going to be reading an excerpt from my short story, Waiting for the End of the World. Man on the radio says monsoons and flooding all through the week, but the west coast is still on fire. I'm lying on the dock, ankle deep in warm Florida salt water. The Gulf side, not Atlantic, but I guess it doesn't really matter. In less than 40 years, the whole island will be underwater. Maybe in less than a week. I'm thinking about running away. I've tried before, but although there's not a huge difference between northern Florida and Georgia, I still can't make myself cross that line. When I left home, 17 and freshly orphaned, I went south. I keep going south. Maybe one day I'll walk right off the southernmost point. I draw my foot up, dripping over the rotting wood. We've been camped at this alcove for almost a week now. There's C's boat, a little folding table set up, a line hanging between the mangroves for clothes. When the storm comes in, later, we'll have to pack everything away. C left uh, sometime after our, not so much an argument, but whatever, uh, last night and hasn't been back since. I called the bar, haven't seen him, but there might be work for me later. And if he's not back by noon, I'll call the station. I'd rather not, I hate strangers. It took months to stop flinching around C, but if he needs bail or... I'm not worried though. Uh, C's older than me, by five, ten years, give or take. He knows his way around the Keys, knows every blind old fishmonger from here to Miami. He's fine, he's just avoiding me, or fell asleep on one of the public beaches, or... Hey man. I sit up, stomach turning, and turn to face the sun. C's back, bright-eyed and steady. There are two fat yellow tails strung up on his line, still gasping. My face goes hot, but C doesn't seem to notice. Lazy morning, he says. I thought you'd fallen in, I say, trying to play it light like I haven't been panicking since he left. Nah, thought I'd get an early start, fry something to stave off your hangover. C's beautiful. It's the only word. Dark hair, dark eyes, deceptively soft mouth. Tall and broad, with calloused hands that crack and bleed in the salt spray. Fisherman's hands. I am not beautiful, especially not as a boy. I used to be, maybe, in a different way, like a rabbit is beautiful to a dog. It's not why I transitioned, but I can't isolate one from each other. You're my hero, I say. I want to make a joke about repaying him, but it's too soon since last night. The memory of sour beer in my mouth. C makes a sound that's not quite a laugh. Alright, that's an excerpt from my short story. I hope you guys enjoy it.